Doesn't get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Focus. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Rebellion. Huh. If it were for the cost of things these days, I'd be able to take things as they are.
Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Folks still talk about you taking down that troll in the village. Don't though. forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck. Hogsmeade, here I come. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Revelio. What are you up to now? Huh? There they are. She was. 
wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. This one, it seems, might get an answer about these butterflies. we have here. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willensy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. 
<sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. And what back, sir? We've not took a thing. Hand them back. There's nothing to give, sir. It was only the one. Uh, that's all of them, sir. Honestly, I swear. How many times are you pair going to keep pilfering my shop? I swear it was just those ones, sir. Promise, sir. We'd never the do any of I tell you this, they'll not appreciate your antics in Azkaban. You just wait till I see. Zanko's joke shop. Frequent we take regularly by Hogwarts students and villagers alike. Zanko's is the place to buy pranks and jokes and That was a bit harsh. outside. Lumos. Does 
doesn't get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Revelio. Hogsmeade, here I come. I'm happy to report that my sister Helen survived the, the sudden attack. In Askman, she said that it is not hold a grudge against Anne, as terrible as the, no, the violence was after seeing the conditions in Askman. Alan said it's no wonder Anne's mind is so far gone. It seems you found Jack Dawes' house and told him about Anne. Alan wanted you to know that he has 
to work with the ministry and I want to see what if anything can be done for her. Maybe the wood? Just look at this. Trophies. So cute. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Oh. 
Why are you calling me, Gareth? I was hoping you might want to redeem yourself for not having brought me that Fupa feather and potions. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. Where do you find the time for this, and your homework? I have plenty of time for both. Been managing for years. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing wisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few <laughs> dried billywig stings for me. Hmm, I don't know, Gareth. Secret passage to a cellar? Sounds like it's off limits. Not at all. It's a perfectly legitimate secret passage. I'd use it if I could. The passage is hidden behind the statue. Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywig stings? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So. The reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness! It's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honey Dukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed, trust me. Uh, uh. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywig stings for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. This looks like the right statue. Now, what was the password? Revelio. Descendium. Goodness, who knew this was all down here? Revelio. A lift? Must be how I get down. Looks broken, though. Seems to have done the trick. Castle will never cease to surprise me. Oh, no. That's not it. Incendium. 
I'm trapped. How am I supposed to get out of here? I'm going to have to get past this. What was that? Please no. Incendio. One more to go and I'll make it across. Did the trick? Pavilion. This must be the way out. Hmm. I need to find a way to open that gate. Something smells sweet. Must be close to honey juice. 
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Revelio. Honey Dukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? I have the dried billywig stings. Now, back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Revelio. are small pervert balls that when consumed will levitate one a few inches off the ground. Oh my gosh. No, I wasn't talking to you. Oh rascal, go back to sleep. My cat. Love him but he's a pain in the butt. Hello again. Were you able to get to Honey Dukes? Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywig stings. You got them! Incredible. Getting them was more work than I expected. I'd like to be paid for my time. Of Course. Didn't think it would be that much trouble, but I'm happy to pay for your help. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Uh...
How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. What? Wait a minute, that was not... Oh, that's why. <gasps> You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, it's perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spellcasting.
Nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Enjoy her apology, but Professor Garlic makes it so interesting. You've forgotten more than I'll ever know about her. Revelio. The unfairness of being hung here, why it warrants looking into. Lumos. Has one person even tried to sort this dreadful odor? Oh, Did I hang in peace in the front of the chokes? Oh, not someone else trying to pass through. I'd be careful if I were you. Rebellion. tasks I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used... ...but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Duncan owes his reputation to you.
doesn't get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Here, hello there. In the market for potions, are we? What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. Revenue. You can hear it. Spoken faces of fashion. Fashion. Upper hydrated drink with pumpkin flavor. It has yet to become popular here. It's but a beer, but one never knows. Huh. Oh. 
that was stupid. Not the sound. What the hell? Rebellion. What the hell? What's he doing that? Oh, my sincerest gratitude, you brave soul. What are you looking for exactly? Thank you for passing through.
Wait a minute, I didn't... Bardolph has joined the Ashwinders. I can't see them bringing him any happiness. been quite stately in its time. If you listen to me, you wouldn't need to concern yourself with such matters. Oops. Nothing to poach in Arringer except spiders. Not worth the trouble if you ask me. Hello? figure out why there's such a fuss over poaching. There's enough dumb beasts for everyone. If we can't even agree on something amongst ourselves, how on earth are we to forge a plan to defeat our enemies? I put forth a fine approach of how we should proceed, and it's simply ludicrous that I'm being defied at every turn. Revelio.
You won every single battle at Crossed Ones. Brilliant. Finished your assignments? I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you. I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Defindo. I would encourage you once again to practice here in the classroom, for your sake and that of everyone else. to have a student who actually heeds instruction. As I mentioned earlier, Defindo can be versatile but dangerous. Good to see you continuing to practice. Professor Sharp, do you have a moment? Depends on how you intend to use it. I saw an aura badge on your desk and was wondering if you could tell me more about your time as an aura. Mm, observant. I suppose I could indulge you for a moment. Spent years tracking down reprobates who dealt in artifacts of dark magic origin. That seems a bit more dangerous than teaching potions. Often, yes. Though, I've seen some remarkably creative concoctions brewed in my class. I enjoyed a great deal of success as an aura. However, success can make one complacent if one's confidence is not tempered by humility. One overstep in battle changed everything. May I ask what happened? <laughs> yes, well, I suppose it's a matter of record. My partner and I had tracked a suspect to a harbor in Scarborough trying to smuggle shrunken heads of all things. I had deduced that he was working alone. I was mistaken, and they knew we were coming. From the moment we stepped onto the ship, well, I had barely escaped with my life. My partner wasn't so lucky. I... I suppose being an aura is dreadfully dangerous. I'm sorry. It is a bat. But survival is not guaranteed for any of us. Pay attention and not just within my class. This is what I must impress upon you all. A potion and a poison may be a mere breath apart until you consume the wrong one. Well said, Professor.
friend. And surely that is a cardo. Revenia. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Great. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. This will take some getting used to. This is brilliant. Nice balance. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view!
Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high-flying fun? Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Plaintiffs and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. Have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're, I... sti because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. 
perhaps. But we did get in trouble, and Kagawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Hogsmeade, here I come. Go a corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Never know. Ah, new face. Wonderful. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spint witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. 
If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the U one's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. Item is of the highest quality. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Nice doing business with you. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, Seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as though you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spintwitches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the Cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. 
Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special prize. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. My advice when dealing with untoward Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade.
Ravenia. Ticket office. The station had stood here since the early 1800s for a minister for magic. The cricket. Not that. Acquired a steam engine trying to transport students to Hogwarts. The station appeared in Hogsmeade virtually overnight just after the train did. Operation involved using a lot of memory charms on muggle workers and the largest mass concealment concealment charm ever performed in Britain. Huh, that's interesting. So that's how they got the See if there's something you need. Thank you for your patronage. Mm. That's been a pleasure. What's more powerful than the dark arts?
needs doing, needs doing. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Always late that Pippin. <coughs> Madame Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. <sighs> Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? A fine choice. Exactly what I would have chosen. This will do just fine. Thank you. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Toadstool tales always made me reckless. Revelio. Danger rooms. The park keep in in bridge. Whatever. Keeps a stock of ginger. Root handy to fend off cross 
customer, his customers, nausea and keep them in digging a bit longer. The tilted house, the only close call is the tilted house due to the odd angle at which it sits wrapped in the roots of the overhang tree. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional fee. I suppose that's business for you. Very well. I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. 